What's up Chemical Guys family? Welcome to the inside of the Detail Garage showroom today. We're going to be bringing you a quick tip on how to use a clay bar and when to use a clay bar. So we're going to go right down the line of the four clay bars. We have starting off right here the light clay bar, which I recommend using on a very uh, routinely detailed vehicle or a brand new car, which shouldn't have too much contamination. I know a lot of cars that go through transport or they sit on dealer lots where they just get a little bit of fallout, but you don't need something super aggressive where it could potentially harm or even mar the paint. For something a little bit older or maybe a car that hasn't been detailed that often, maybe every six months to a year, uh, you can use something like the OG clay bar, which is going to have a little bit more of a stickier consistency. If you didn't know, a clay bar is basically a sticky patty substance, which pulls out any kind of impurities and contamination in the pores of the paint to give you a really slick finish. And what this is going to do is it preps the paint for polishing, uh, it preps it for applying coats of glaze, sealant, or wax. And the reason for this is because you don't want to lock that stuff in. So by pulling it out, you're going to get the best results. Now you're going to get a true bond because it's bonding directly to the paint or the clear coat surface. And this way it's going to last as long as it can. And moving on down the line, you also have the medium clay bar, which is sold out because it's one of the most popular clay bars because cars that routinely or rather don't get detailed need something a little bit more aggressive, but the medium is still very thin and is very malleable. So it can contour to any shape on the vehicle to again, get you the best results. What I like to do is I knead it up into a small disc, which is about the size of three fingers, and then spraying the clay luber or your preferred type of lubricant, glide it gently across the surface, and then you can get it underneath door jams, you can get inside of the door handle, uh, any kind of shape on the body, and this is going to give you the best results. But again, this is what you need to do before you polish it, before you put any kind of uh, protective coating on there, whether it be glaze, sealant, wax, any kind of carbon, any kind of ceramic coating, all this needs to be done before you actually put on that kind of protective coating. Now lastly, you have the heavy clay bar, and this is what we reserve for really contaminated and heavily oxidized paint, because what this is gonna do is one, it's going to require a polish for sure because it mars the paint slightly, because this is very thick, it's very dense, and this is going to pull out the really hard contamination and the very light layer of oxidation, which gives that car a really dull and kind of cloudy look. So if this helped you guys a little bit, be sure to like this video, drop a comment down below on things you guys wanna see. If you need more information or you guys wanna check this out for yourself, Stop by the Detail Garage or check it out on our website, chemicalguys.com. And as always, we'll see you guys next time right here in the Detail Garage.